you welcome to another new video if you are new to this channel please subscribe like and share learn real devops youtube channel as discussed in the last video now we will set up a kubernetes cluster so the image what you are seeing on the screen in short it will look like this the only difference between the earlier image and this image is that the components in detail of the master and worker are not shown in this image in detail but that's not a problem we can go ahead and create the cluster as part of the kubernetes cluster is concerned we will be having a one master machine with two worker nodes worker node 1 and worker node 2 but before we start creating the kubernetes cluster if a question comes back asking for us why do we need a kubernetes cluster so to answer that if you are an end user using applications like amazon or flipkart or facebook or whatsapp so when the end user is accessing applications like Amazon or Flipkart or Facebook or WhatsApp, that application should be actually be up and running. Only then the end user will access such applications. To run your application, you need container. Clear? Because your application is converted into image and that image is running inside the container so now to run the container you need kubernetes cluster clear but where exactly is the container running the container is running inside a pod but where is the pod located? The pod is located inside the Kubernetes cluster on a worker node. So for your understanding, worker node can be said as your host machine which has got the actual resources like RAM and CPU. So, but why is that you want your application to be running in a Kubernetes cluster so to answer that if you want your application to be highly available that is the application shall be up and running 99.99 percent of the time so that end users access to the application is not affected for example, in case if the desired state of the client is 6 pods with your Amazon or Facebook application running inside the container or pod. So we have pod 1, pod 2, pod 3, pod 4, pod 5 and pod 6. And if by chance any of the worker node. So we have two worker nodes, worker node 1 and worker node 2. If worker node 1 with 3 pods goes down, then Kubernetes will ensure that the desired state of 6 pods is always maintained by adding remaining 3 pods to a worker machine which has the capacity with sufficient resources to create the 3 pods so that the total six pods desired state is maintained so if worker node 1 goes down worker node 2 will be available and the application will be available inside the pod and inside each and every container so i mean to tell inside every container a copy of the application called facebook or whatsapp or amazon or flipkart will be running so what if worker node 1 goes down immediately as a desired state is 6 pods currently if worker node 1 goes down you'll have only 3 pods with one worker node so 
there is a shortage of three pods so these three pods are made available in a new worker node or the same worker node that is what i mean to tell in short hope you are clear on why are we creating kubernetes cluster with application like amazon or facebook or flipkart running inside kubernetes cluster now with this clarity let us proceed forward but before that we also need to justify why we need to set up a kubernetes cluster consisting of one master with two worker nodes so like this one master with the worker node one and worker node two so two worker nodes with one master now i would like to specify a point which is worth noting down so have you ever thought for whom does devops team work or support so devops team will work or support the following users one will be the developing team or the dev environment secondly qa team or qa environment thirdly pre production environment or staging environment followed by production environment apart from the above devops team will also work or support for themselves so the kubernetes cluster what we are going to implement now will only be used for dev environment or qa environment but will not be applicable for staging environment and it will equally not be applicable for production environment so the reason for why is this kubernetes cluster is not applicable for a production environment is if you see in the recent amazon great india sale or flipkart big billion day sale the number of web application users or android app users of the amazon or flipkart application cannot be estimated i mean the amount of incoming traffic cannot be estimated so we cannot have a predefined or a particular set of worker nodes like the one you are seeing on the screen with your flipkart or amazon application running inside each board i mean inside each container and inside the pod where will your application be running it is inside the container on the screen if you see our kubernetes cluster which you are going to create now will have one master with the two worker nodes suppose if you have a predefined worker nodes like two worker nodes like the cluster what you are seeing here with amazon or flipkart application running inside the pod then every worker node will have resources like cpu and ram which cannot accept or handle traffic beyond a particular limit now the question is why is that every worker node inside the cluster cannot accept traffic beyond a particular limit because every worker node will have resources of a particular limit so if this worker node one has got cpu of 8 cpu or 8 mil cpu with 8 gb ram and the same way if this worker node has got 8 mil cpu with 8 gb of ram if any usage beyond 8 cpu or 8 gb of ram exceeding this worker node cannot handle the same rule applies to this worker node also so now if the number of worker nodes is limited or predetermined like two worker nodes or three worker nodes then the load which flows to the number of existing or predefined worker nodes cannot handle or will be overloaded with incoming traffic 
and the Amazon or Flipkart application will go down. So to overcome this problem, there is a need to do load balancing and auto scaling. So load balancing will balance the load on worker node in which your application is running and auto scaling will help you to scale up or scale down the pods and resources. Let me explain you something here. As I refer to auto scaling, now auto scaling is of two types horizontal pod auto scaling and vertical pod auto scaling, also referred as HPA or VPA. Let us not go deep into this auto scaling or load balancing as all this is part of advanced Kubernetes which deals with ingress and in combining with AWS services like auto scaling with load balancing. So ingress auto scaling load balancing which can be learned in detail with hands on with a detailed project and which is entirely a different use case. Now coming back to the explaining of Kubernetes cluster in QA dev environment. So the current Kubernetes cluster what you are going to do will be only be applicable for dev environment for development activities and QA environment for testing the application. But in dev environment or QA environment in most of the cases load balancing or auto scaling is not required because the number of users using the Kubernetes cluster in a dev environment or QA environment is limited. So I hope you got the first reason. And now coming to the second reason, if you use services like load balancing and auto scaling for lower environments, for lower environments like a dev environment or QA environment, it involves financial resources as these so-called services like load balancing and auto scaling are charged by AWS. Now if the question comes back asking for does the Kubernetes cluster what we are going to create now will it not be used in real projects like Amazon or Flipkart? The answer is it depends on the use case. If Amazon or Flipkart want to have a Kubernetes cluster for dev environment or QA environment, then the similar Kubernetes cluster, what we are going to implement using hands on like this, the similar will be used. But they might have 10 or 20 worker nodes. Like now we have two worker nodes as you see in the diagram worker node 1 and worker node 2. The same way Amazon Flipkart has one or two master machines like how we have one master machine as you see in this diagram. But even our hands on we are going with one master machine with two worker nodes. So if the question comes back why should we have more than one Kubernetes master like two or three Kubernetes master in a cluster? The reason is simple. It is to maintain high availability. I mean to have your Kubernetes master up and running for 99.99% .99 of the time. Even if one of the Kubernetes master goes down then the load is handled by other Kubernetes master machine. So if a question comes back again asking for in a production environment, how does a Kubernetes cluster looks? Then there is another point to be noted here. That is in a production in real world, EKS service of AWS is used. EKS stands for Elastic Kubernetes Service. If you are using EKS, then in EKS, Kubernetes Master, Kubernetes Master is called Control Plane 
and the worker nodes are called worker node 1 and worker node 2 are called data plane so this entire worker nodes are called data plane and this master machine is called control plane so this master in production when you are using eks is called control plane and this worker nodes are called data plane in production environment we as a devops engineer need to be more effective instead of we taking care of everything aws ek service will give fully managed kubernetes control plane i mean aws ek service will manage this entire kubernetes master fully so aws eks manage service means aws eks will install backup create machine and configure all the components of the kubernetes master now we as a devops engineer will manage the data plane nothing but the worker nodes in which your application is running inside a pod i mean inside a container anyways this is just a brief on eks and eks has to be learned separately hope by now you got the clarity on how kubernetes cluster differs among various environments like dev environment qa environment pre-production environment or production environment so this video on creating kubernetes cluster is also one of the use case in real-time project so now with this justification let us go forward and implement a detailed hands-on by creating kubernetes cluster for a dev environment or qa environment Whenever you are talking about the Kubernetes cluster in various environments, give a conceptual and detailed explanation. So this sort of explanation is expected and is a need of the hire and the interviews by the hiring companies. If you are looking for high pay scale or to attend client rounds or interviews, or if you want to work in DevOps domain for companies in India or abroad, or to attend the top product companies like Meta, Google, Amazon, etc. Then a detailed and conceptual explanation is the need of the HAR. This explanation is only possible if you have really done some hands-on in the multiple environment and this high level of knowledge can be obtained with detailed conceptual and in-depth training on project in case if you want to get trained one-on-one -on -one using real scenario projects based on your available time we are here to support you last but not the least better late than never and devops means problem solving skills if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, like and share Learn Real DevOps YouTube channel. So let us continue by creating the cluster what you are seeing on the screen for QA environment or developing environment in the next video. Till then, wishing you a happy continuous learning. See you in the next video and have a good day.